Well, folks, welcome to another Friday fishing forecast, and it looks like it's going to be a little bit bumpy of a weekend. We had the cold front come through Thursday night, so uh, it's a little bit windy, as you can probably see in the flag right there. It's uh, windy this Friday morning, so I think it's going to be the same this weekend. I think Saturday is going to be bumpy. Sunday is going to be bumpy. So chad and i are definitely going to get out our boat is definitely fixed uh i want to say a huge thank you to sunray marine for sending lj out it was um it was almost what i thought it was it was actually the main wire harness to the boat so i ordered a new wire harness because lj was like i'm 100 percent sure that it's your wire harness so i went ahead and ordered a wire harness uh they're relatively pretty easy to run right through the boat you just connect it to the old one and send it right through the boat but i put it on top of the boat first on top of the deck plugged it in just to make sure and sure enough it was it was definitely the the wire harness the main wire harness so we replaced that got that done i want to say a huge thanks to uh, a friend of mine stan mcmahon stan the man uh he helped me uh, bleed my hydraulic system which needed it badly and I want to thank him for that. That was uh, I wouldn't have done it without. I wouldn't have been able to do it without him. So thank you for that, Stan. So anyway, let's get into the Friday fishing forecast. Um, like I said, it's going to be a bumpy weekend, but if you can get out and get into protected areas, I think the fish are going to eat. But it, I think it might slow things down just a little bit, simply because the water temperature is probably dropping a little bit with these colder nights. And I think though, after this, I keep saying it. Hopefully, after this next front, we won't have any more. But it was uh it was 87 yesterday um so it's it it de if des it's definitely a change but we'll see what happens so let's go ahead and get into the salooners and tides for this weekend's uh for this weekend's fishing for saturday we have a low tide at 1 11 a.m at a negative 0 0.04 and then we have a high tide at 506 p.m at a 1.92 foot then on sunday we have a low tide at 2 24 a.m at a negative 0 0.04 foot and then on, sat, or on Sunday evening, we have a high tide at 5.56 p.m. at a 1.88 foot. On Saturday, we have a minor feeding time from 11.29 a.m. to 12.29 p.m. Then we have a major from 6.06 .06 to 8.06 p.m. And then on Sunday, we have a major feeding time from 6.32 a.m. to 8.32 a.m. And then we have a minor feeding time from 12.15 p.m. to 1.15 p.m. And then we have another major from 6.57 p.m. to 8.57 p.m. Well, folks, that does it for the Friday Fishing Forecast. Again, I want to say thank you to everybody out and supporting us. I can't thank you enough. Uh, it's still overwhelming the amount of people that are coming by to visit us at the shop to buy jigs and all kinds of stuff. We really appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any questions, I've got a lot of feedback here recently about the... Uh, about the the videos that we did about the side imaging and and things like that so i'm definitely going to start concentrating on that a little bit more because we get a lot of people asking about uh how to use their their equipment and the the that is one of the most important pieces of equipment that you can use uh you know this last weekend i was able to show ernie who took us offshore thank you ernie and katie again for doing that because it was a blast I was able to show him and help him utilize his side imaging and when I was able to do that you could see the light bulb go off in his head just as, just like uh, Captain Shannon Wise on Friday uh, I was able to kind of give him a tutorial about his side imaging so it's very important that you use your equipment correctly because if you use it right you're going to find more areas to fish so I'm going to concentrate on that a little bit more get a little bit more in depth about it because people really seem to like that. So I appreciate all the feedback. Thank you so much. Uh, it's just, the feedback has been incredible and I love when people come up to us and say, hey Todd, um, whoops, sorry about that. My uh, gimbal just shut off for some godforsaken reason. But anyway, um, I just wanna say thank you again, everybody. Uh, if, like I said, if you have any questions, have any suggestions, just let us know. You can get in touch with us at info at tampabayfishingchannel.com. And one last note on our apparel. Unfortunately, the gentleman that was um, printing our apparel has gone out of business. So I'm going to be taking that over. 
I'm gonna have to answer this phone. Well, uh, sorry about that interruption. Business gets in the way, but I just wanna say thank you again to everybody that helped support us. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.